And we're back here on the morning show on 1450 AM KBBS, sponsored by Tom's Tire and KC Wyoming, and also uh, Cotan Family Dentistry. And I've got a huge crowd this morning in our studio with a bunch of young kids and uh, Rick Sanchez, one of the teachers at Cloud uh, at Clear Creek Middle School. And uh, cl- welcome to this group. Well, thank you. Thank you for having us. And uh, Rick, I'll start with you. Uh, what's this group? Uh, uh, here to talk about? Uh, a few months ago, um, one of my students uh, decided to enter a project with uh, Verizon and uh, develop an app, and I'm going to let them talk about that, but uh, they decided to uh, work on this for the last few months, and as a result, um, they won best in state for this, and right now they're looking at trying to get some votes for fan favorites. Okay. Well, I think we'll start with Sage Palser, since uh, she kind of took this, uh, uh, this, this project uh, and got it started. Good morning, Sage. Hi. And I, uh, I was really impressed with your presentation to the school board on uh, Monday night. So tell our listeners uh, about how this uh, whole project got started and what it is and what do you intend to accomplish with it. Um, how it got started is uh, Mr. Sanchez came to me with this project, and so I looked at it and I thought that it would be really cool. So I um, took it on, and it's a challenge that you have to create a concept for an app. Um, and enter that, and you have to do it, take a whole bunch of steps to do that. And one of the problems that we thought um, would be cool to take on for this app is bullying. So we created an app or a concept for an app called Beat Bully, and it basically helps with kids who are being bullied. Um, for it gives them tips on how to handle that situation, or um, like if someone's seeing bullied or how to handle that situation. And, and I think it's impressive. I, I, f- I found out the other night that that, that uh, you beat out like another 1,200 entries uh, to be best in state. That's pretty mm-hmm. impressive. Yeah, thanks. So, um, Joe, right? No, Joe. Yeah. I've got three guys here, and I just met them a, a minute ago. So, uh, Joe, step up to the, to the mic. So, how did you get involved in it, Joe? Well, Sage just asked me, and I kind of looked into it. Thought it was a pretty cool deal, so said yes. Okay. And you're, you're Joe Burtonshaw, right? Yeah. Okay. So uh, you guys work pretty good to, as a team together. And, and how long have you started? How, how long have you been working on this project? Quite a while. I can't remember, but... I do surprise you sometimes with my questions because they're right off the top of my head. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you think you got a chance to to, to uh, uh, go further? I know you got you can compete uh, based on the uh, the voting that we'll talk about here in a little bit. You have a chance of competing in a, like a regional and possi- possibly nationally, right? Yeah. And uh, you actually put five thousand dollars in the coffers for the uh, for the school with uh, the the project so far, but you have a chance to an- another fifteen thousand. Yeah. Right? Okay. Okay, Hannah, step up right there to either one of the microphones is fine. Now you had a chance to talk the other night too at the at school board. Yeah. Okay. And uh, what did you tell the school board about uh, this project? Well, I told them that I think that this app could help a lot of people and that it would stop a lot of bullying throughout the district. Okay. Now uh, there's a there was a commercial that you guys played at the school board uh, the other night, and uh, Mr. Sanchez said that. Uh, you you kind of accomplished this thing in about three hours on a Sunday. Yep. Sometimes it takes me two hours to do a, a newscast. You know, so I'm pretty impressed by that because it was uh, it was uh, cool. And I think that you were uh, uh, you were on that commercial, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, how exciting was that to to, to see your uh, to see your commercial being played by uh, to a bunch of people? And it's you know I, I, people are going to be seeing that off websites because it's available on the uh, on the school website as well, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. You feel like uh, acting is in your blood? No, I was kind of <laughs> bad at it when I when I was when we were doing our three minute commercial or not a commercial, sorry, an ad mm-hmm. thing. What was it? Oh yeah, a video. Sorry, we. Um, I was bad at it. You know, I didn't. I had the other things to do, and I didn't get to study for it. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, okay. And then we finally got it down. After who three was your tries. director? Sage. <laughs> okay. Uh, Tucker, step on up here. 
Hi. So how did you get involved in this? Well, I was kind of just doing my other classes, and we get a call, and Mr. Sanchez said that Sage wanted me to help them out with this project that they were doing. Mm -hmm. And they said that I could come down and help. And I'm like, sweet, I could get out of third period and do something fun. So <laughs> I kind of just went down there and, you know, helped out with the project. And that's pretty much it. So the, you, know, you got started, by, you just wanted to get out of class, but it, it turned into something bigger than that, right? Yeah. You're pretty impressed by uh, where you've gotten as far as... Uh, uh, you know, beating out 1,200 other submissions. I was really surprised because we had, like, not, I didn't think we were going to win because there's so many other schools in Wyoming, and we're a small town in Buffalo, Wyoming, so, like. Yeah, but there's a lot of talent here, Tucker. Yeah. So, um, who else have I, talk, have I talked to yet? Uh, Tim, right? Yep. Okay. Tim, how did you get involved in this? Well, Sage came and talked to me at lunch one day, and she asked me if I wanted to be in this. Mm -hmm. And she said it was with Mr. Sanchez, so I said yes. And so I went in at lunch and started working on it, and it was pretty cool after we got started. You say that like Mr. Sanchez was a was a, a, a key in uh, you're getting involved. So anything that Mr. Sanchez is involved, you're uh, you're right in there to 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 get get involved. Well. He kind of just told us that it was there, and he helps us a lot, but yeah. we did most of the work. But he gave us a lot of advice and okay. help. So what do you think uh, What do you think your chances are of, of uh, going farther? Well, we're playing, or we're going in against all the districts, mm -hmm. or all the states in our district. And, and what states are you competing in right now for the regional? Do you know? Anybody know? Sure. Montana, Idaho, California, Utah, Nevada. Utah, Oregon, Arizona. A lot of western Northwest. states. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so mostly western states. Okay, well, I think your chances are pretty good. Now, uh, I'll ask for any of you, uh, like, uh, if you were able to, to, to go all the way. This is with Verizon, too. It's uh, Verizon, um, got the name here, the Verizon... A, uh, innovative app challenge. If you're successful uh, at some point, I'm going farther. Uh, and you, right now, the app is simply just a, an, an idea. Yes. And uh, at what point do you think that you can make this into a, a, an honest to goodness app that people can have on their phones? I know Sage, uh, you you talked about uh, that. There's three different uh, uh, three different uh, applications on this app. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um, so, like, at the beginning, there's three different questions that you can ask, um, like, being bullied, seeing bullied, or parent settings, and, like I said, it can go kind of in, it branches in, and there's more questions that you can ask, um, and eventually you'll get to some tips that it gives you for any, um, situation that you're in that involves one of those three questions at the beginning, and we want to have, like, a video that shows how to do these how to perform these t um, tips. And as far as the parent setting goes, it that one we want to have um, tips on how like the parent can tell if their kid is being bullied or how to talk to their kid about being bullied or seeing bullied or um, along that line. But we also want to have a very unique um, setting on the parent settings that has kind of a texting filter so that um, if any aggressive messages are sent or received to that kid or from that kid, then it will be reported to the parents and possibly um, the principal or another school staff so um, that the parents can kind of partner up with the school if they want to stop whatever situation that might be going on. Okay. So so my understanding, and for, for listeners, uh, is this application, if it's if it's successful and being uh, completed, uh, will help people if they if a child if they're being bullied, or if they observe it happening to mm -hmm. someone else, or the parents can use them too, uh, and and tips to them on how to handle uh, if their child if they believe their child is being bullied. Yes. Okay. Pretty impressive stuff. So, um, 
Now, do you think that when will you know uh, the next level? I know the voting is taking place right now. Uh, anybody want to tell us, tell our listeners how to vote for you? Okay. Hannah, go ahead. So you go to the Verizon app challenge. You just type that in, and then it will say text 222 no, to beat bully 1, and then it just, I think, overnight or during like a couple hours, it will go in. Okay. And, and and when will they ta- tabulate the votes? Do you know? I think it was January 30th. Okay. So we have till the end of the month. Yeah. Okay. So you go to the Verizon App Challenge, Innovative App Challenge, mm-hmm. and then you can choose, uh, uh, you can text from that. Is that what, what you're saying? Okay. Yeah. Cool. You can text from your phone. Yeah. You can do it from your phone? You can't do it on the website. Okay. So you text... Tim's going to tell us. So the number that you text to is 22333. And then the text message that you send is BEATBULLY1 in all caps. Okay. Now, no you spaces. realize that, you know, like um, my age group, you know, we didn't grow up, grew up with, uh, with all the electronic opportunities that you guys have. So, you know, sometimes it's a really difficult thing for some of us to, to, to text, you know. Uh, how, many of, how many of you, uh, your parents text all the time? <laughs> okay, all, all <laughs> they're learning, right? Okay, how about how about your grandparents? How many of them do you, you catch texting? They still have five on three, so. There you go. No <laughs> hands are up, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> well, I think it's a it's a great idea. Now, um, Rick, I'll, I'll, Mr. Sanchez, yes. Uh, anything that they haven't mentioned that you think that our listeners should know about this project? Well, the second, the next stage after this, uh, there's a couple parts here. So they're in what they call a fan favorite stage, where the students um, put out their app and it's just being looked at by everybody as a concept. Uh, it's also being looked at by the judges from Verizon, in which case uh, three teams from the Western State at the middle school level will move on to the next level. And that's where the winners from that stage will be contacted by um, somebody from MIT or some entity like that um, where they will either have a live visit or online visits to help them develop this app into um, a working um, concept. And the next stage after that, if they continue from there, they have a live webinar in which case they have to sell their app to the judges mm-hmm. and the winner of that goes to the nationals in um, J- June. Okay. So at that stage, basically, the app should be full concept and live, able uh, on both platforms, both Android and uh, um, the Apples. Okay. Now, now, this group of kids behind you, uh, because of their success, they actually uh, um, uh, brought in five thousand dollars to um, uh, Clear Creek Middle School. Yes. So, what's the school going to do with that money? Well, there's limitations on what we can do with it. Okay. Um, it's basically for um, further development in either professional development for teachers or development of um, some STEM-oriented classes, um, something in science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. And I've told the students this is their money. They will have a big say in how this money is spent um, at the school um, for those purposes. We do have to document that with Verizon. Okay. So, so uh, I'm sure you're pretty proud of their efforts and everything. So. Most definitely. These these kids make me very, very proud. So I, I, I will have to say I've done very, very little with this. Um, I helped guide them, give them direction. Well, you, but And you said Monday night that uh, you had been out of town. Yes. And uh, c- came back and you just kind of found out this at the last minute. And even uh, even the principal they really didn't know too much about this. So. Right. They had contacted me yeah. while I was out of town. And so my I contact see. was directly with Sage through email. And so she was trying to set this up because we had until Monday to get the ad out or published. And so she developed everything, got everything ready, and set up a time with the students. And I just met him at school on Sunday. So this is really all students. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> hey, I want to bring all five up. There's two microphones there. Kind of share this because i got one more question for all of you. Uh, actually, first the comment. Uh, you know, when I didn't have my homework done when I was a kid, uh, sometimes I'd try to hide from my, my, my teachers, okay? Mr. Sanchez said he just communicated via email with Sage. That's kind of scary that, uh, that 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 you can't hide from the teachers anymore because they're going to be emailing you. You know that's that's uh, that's pretty amazing. So uh, and a little frightening sometimes if if you don't have your homework done. So uh, my question for you guys is: um, 
you know, this whole idea was on uh, uh, on fighting uh, bullying or, or compete, uh, try to stop or eliminate bullying, uh, either uh, bullying like face to face uh, or cyber bullying. Uh, how many of you? I mean, can anybody comment? Uh, to, how often do you see this happening? Uh, it obviously, it had to have been something uh, um, that's happening that for you to uh, find this is an important thing to 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 work on. Anybody want to say? Um, it just kind of depends, really. Um, there's kind of little spurts of it, and then it sometimes goes away. Or it always kind of depends, but it it's always going on. Um, okay. It, it, if you know about it or not, so. I'm going to ask Joe. Um, <laughs> Joe's got this, these big eyes here. Joe, do you feel like, having gone through this project, uh, now do you feel like uh, you're empowered if you happen to see somebody being bullied? Uh, you, you observe that. Do you feel like em- empowered to, to, to step forward and, and say that it's wrong? Well, yeah. You always should do that, I think. Okay. And you, but you feel a little bit. I think that uh, the success of this of this project maybe kind of put it out to, to everybody at your school that uh, it's an important thing. And and I could I could see a lot of success even if you don't go any further with this whole project. The fact that you brought it up and discussed it uh, uh, makes it on the minds of, of nearly every student at at the school. So, um, what about? Uh, um, Cyberbullying is that a, is that a big thing, Tucker? Um, I definitely see it whenever you're on social media. If you just kind of look out, you can always see those bad words or those people that are just trying to be funny, but they're really hurtful. Mm-hmm. It's never happened to me personally, but I feel like it's you. It's never going to stop unless we all notice it and try to stop it ourselves. So. Mm-hmm. There's really no way you can end it completely because th- you're always going to have that one person that wants to be mean and hurtful. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you know, uh, even as an adult, if, uh, sometimes if somebody, like, they, they complain about that, they, they don't like my show or, uh, uh, you know, they, they, they say mean things either on, on, the, on Facebook or whatever, it still hurts. You know, but having lived a number of years and and, and you, you, you know nothing surprises me anymore. While it hurts, you can kind of move on. But when you're young and somebody, one of your peers, says something really uh, negative about you, sometimes it feels like the end of the world, doesn't it? Anybody have that? Uh, anybody have that happen to them? That uh, how how they felt when that when that happened to them? I've had it sometimes. Okay. A lot, and it's not through like physical; it's just words. Yeah. And it's just been kind of happening through me throughout my life. And I thought, well, if I did this with Sage, that I could stop it, and it would just go away. But sometimes when you just leave it alone, it doesn't go away, and no one speaks up and says that stuff. Then you know it's just always going to be there. It's never going to go away. So that's also why I did it. It was because I want to stop this from happening to a lot of people. Right. And when, when mean things are said on, on social media, electronically, it's there forever. It's hard to, to, to wipe out. So, uh, well, I, I, think that, I think that you guys have done a great job, and I wish you the best. And, again, would somebody like to tell our listeners one more time? Because, you remember, our listeners are, are old people like, like me, and uh, they may not be the very best at texting. So somebody give uh, instructions one more time because we want to get as many votes as we can for you. Um, so you would text to the number 22333 and then you would text beat bully one all caps no spaces okay well i know that we tried to do this at school board meeting the other night and it was uh, kind of a, a joint thing and and people were laughing because they were struggling having a, a difficult time doing that so but we're all we were all adults so you can figure that one so um mr sanchez thank you for bringing this group in and uh, uh, you know, keep us informed as to how the progress is, uh, how this thing progresses. And uh, it'd be great to have you guys back on after you've uh, you've been uh, uh, chosen as one of the winners in the regional. So, okay, we will keep you informed, and thank you for having us. Okay, so uh, Sage Pulser, uh, Hannah Gonzalez, Joe Burtonshaw, Tucker Giles, and Tim Clayson.
have been our guests along with uh, their teacher, Mr. Rick Sanchez. And we're going to take a quick break so I can say goodbye to these people. Thank you.